Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Zimmerman and I am out on the Barker Creek Greenbelt for a little uh, trail run here and I was so delighted and surprised to see that the Barton Creek is actually running. Uh, I can't even tell you how long it has been uh, since the Barton Creek uh, Greenbelt and Barton Creek has uh, had water flowing in it. Uh, this is so cool. Um, sorry, I'm gushing, but it is, it's cool. Yeah, we've been in just a devastating drought over the past few years, and uh, it's been a long time since the Barton Creek has been flowing through here. I'll try to catch a few different clips as I do my run. I love it. And this is one of my favorite little sections of the creek when the water is flowing. So nice. And here's a little flats area. The water's sort of just pooling here. Wonderful to see so many people coming and enjoying the fact that the water has returned. It's worth saying too that uh, although it's nice to see water here in Barton Creek, our drought is by no means over. And in fact, further upstream towards our reservoirs, our lakes, uh, they are still devastatingly low. So yes, we still need a lot more rain. And here's one of the uh, low water crossings to the trail. Just a couple making their way across. And here's a little shot from up above. I'm on the trail near some of the rock climbing areas. A little further up. So nice to hear the flowing water here in the green belt once again. And another shot of the water and part of the trail. And it looks like a major tree has gone down blocking the trail. Looks like I can shimmy my way through. But yeah, what a, what a big one to come down during the storm. And here's a view from the other side of that fallen tree which in turn busted up a couple other trees too. Okay, we're at another of the rock climbing areas here out on the trail. And swing around and show you another flats area of the creek. The water's just barely flowing through this segment. Okay. I'm at the uh, water crossing here, just past the three mile mark in the green belt. So if I was continuing my run, I would have to uh, navigate my way across either here or try to find an area where I could keep my feet dry. Again, it's been a long time since I've seen water this deep flowing through here. Fantastic. Truly wonderful to see. All right, I'm on the trail here. I just wanna give you a little sense of what it's like on the trail. It's just so cool to be running on this trail and to have that as your soundtrack. I love it. I also want to point out just how incredibly emerald green 
all the grasses are through here. A couple weeks back, we did have a very, very deep freeze and then followed up by a lot of rain and some warmer temperatures. But <laughs> this is almost spring-like. Everything's just so vibrant green down at the level of the ground. Very, very lush. If we continue to get warm temperatures, like today is supposed to be in the 70s, we might even see some of the uh, early spring wildflowers get tricked into uh, popping up out of the ground a month or two early. So nice. This is a little side trail I like to take. Adds just a, a little bit to the, uh, the route. And occasionally, this area gets some water. And uh, here you go. This water will pretty much be trapped here until it evaporates out. When it's really raging through here, Obviously, the water has cut a path through this section of the green belt of the canyon. But in my time here, I've only seen this flowing a couple of times. Well, that's pretty much all she wrote for my run. Barton Creek Green Belt today. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, journey along the water as much as I did. Have a great day, everyone. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.